Hi, welcome back. The paw that you see over here in the corner belongs to Kit Kat. Today I want to share with you the uh, weekly supplement offered by Hobonichi. This is my first one. I used it in 2020 and then this is 2023 and I use this mainly for Bruce in his, um, this is Bruce's journal. Bruce is our English Bulldog and uh, he has a heart condition. So I need to keep track of appointments, his visits, anything that happens during the year so that when we visit his normal vet or his cardiologist, I can tell them if they ask me a question, you know, when he had his shots, if he had any issues with his ears, his eyes, if he's acting differently. And I also do keep track of his poop and his water habits, his drinking. Um, and, and then again, any medication that we give him. When you buy weekly supplement, this is what it looks like. You can see how thin it is. So again, this is the one that I purchased in 2020 to use. And so it is filled with stickers. So you can see what that looks like. Now this is an A6 size weekly supplement. And so you can see what it looks like in here. So this is the Hobonichi A6 blank notebook. This is his actual medical history. And how I slipped the weekly supplement into the side. And for him, it's also not very All thick. All I do is write in it keep track of his poop, his water, his uh, flea heart medication. Probably help to show you what a blank. So this is what it would look like. If you buy just the A6 Hobonichi Techo, this would be helpful to have if you wanted to slip it in. So you can, <laughs> here's Bruce. You wanted a weekly layout. So now let me show you this. Uh, so over here, I kept track of my packages. Uh, up here on top, I was keeping track of my important task for the day. So this would be like your highlight of the day because you can see how small it is. A little bit of washi on the bottom. And then up here on top, because I can't read Japanese, I mark down the days, right? So Monday through Sunday, packages I put on the side. This was pretty fun uh, to keep track of. And I have my passport size traveler's notebook. I have this here to show that it will fit in here. So actually it would have helped if I just stuck one in here. I will be right back. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> Bruce has got a new toy. Okay, he's got a tennis ball, so that won't make that much noise. So this is my traveler's notebook passport size. And as you can see, I placed it on the string as my front booklet. It has a little bit of overhang. So I think depending on your placement in your passport, it's gonna determine how much more it's gonna stick out. So you can see what it looks like. So I'm pretty sure that if I stuck it in the middle of the passport, that it would not stick out as much but it's just got a little bit of overhang. So if you're not bothered by it, that is how it would hang out. Can you see that? I don't know. You can use this to carry around in here. And let me see, let me finish showing you this. So I am not going to be using one of these for 2024. Bruce will have one to keep track of his, um, again, <laughs> pooping, drinking schedule. But this was fun to use. And this is the chunk size that you would see. That's Kit Kat. This is the chunk that you would get. And again, the blank one is in here. So again, you, can you will see the comparison between what you would buy and how thin it is and if you decide to use stickers. Obviously, if you use more stickers, um, it's gonna be thicker. But I think this is very helpful to use if you just wanted to um, wanted a weekly layout with your A6 Techo, uh, that you could do it and that there is room. That is a very quick look of the uh, Hobonichi Weekly Supplement from 2020 in Bruce's A6 Techo as well as knowing that it will fit in a traveler's notebook passport size. 
If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. Subscribe if you'd like to see after the pin videos. And I will hopefully have a Hobonichi haul later in the month. Okay, I'll see you guys later. Have a good weekend. Bye.